Uh, just leave me alone. Don't try my nerves. Oh, Lester, you're being difficult. Now, why don't you get up and go in the bed? I'll make you some soup. I am not being difficult. I'm not getting in the bed. What kind of soup? <laughs> How about some chicken soup? That sound good? Sure, why not? I'm not hungry anyway. Well, I'll make any kind you want. How about some pea soup? What kind of peas? <laughs> Purple peas. <laughs> OK, I'm sorry. Look, just leave me alone. I'll be all right. You know I don't like to be babied. Just lie here and watch TV. Well, are you sure you'll be all right? Of course I will. Well, in that case, the girls and I were thinking of going shopping. You going shopping and I'm lying here dying? <laughs> you said leave you alone. I said leave me alone, not leave the country. <laughs> going to Garfinkel's is not leaving the country. Whatever happened to in sickness and in health? Oh, uh -huh. oh Lester, all you got is a little tump. Gut ache. <laughs> Why don't you go get in the bed? I'm not getting in bed. People die in bed. <laughs> they also get well in bed. Sure, roll the dice with my life. <laughs> OK, OK. Stay on the sofa. I'll make some tea. I don't like tea. It's for me. <laughs> and I'm not being difficult. Somebody's at the door. All right. Tell them to go away. I'm sick. <laughs> Mary, how's Lester? Oh, not too good. He doesn't want to see anybody right now. I just want to cheer him up. <laughs> Lester? Mm. Oh, you look terrible. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad somebody recognized that. And thanks for driving me home. Oh, anybody would have done it. You poor man. Well, I have to get back, but I stopped at the corner and I got you this flower. Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You really should have had some decent flowers for Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Just because he's a big macho man doesn't mean he doesn't like flowers. <laughs> this room needs something to cheer it up. Open up the window, get some air in here. <laughs> and change their dress. <laughs> no wonder he's sick. Do you have accident insurance? Yeah, why? Because you're about to have an accident. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, no. Just tinkle for Mary when you need her. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Yes, Sandra. Whenever we tinkle, we'll think of you. <laughs> I have to get back or I miss my lunch hour. Bye now. Bye. Mm. Mary, you could learn something from her. <laughs> I'm sure I could, but what would I do with it? <laughs> you want some toast? No, I told you I am not hungry. Well, excuse me, grouchy. First you say I'm difficult, then you say I'm grouchy. I'm sick. Don't I get any sympathy? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Yeah. What are you doing? Leave me alone. <laughs> well, excuse me. I'll get my tea. <laughs> you rang? Could I have a glass of water, please? Of course, dear. <laughs> yes? Not too cold. Fine. <laughs> yes? Not too warm, either. Not too warm. Here you are, dear. Thank you very much. 